Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Tuesday, June 16th, the day after the Fed said they were going to buy corporate bonds. An amazingly good move uh, by Jay Powell. Gave it some thought last night. I mean, the knee jerk here is this is going to, the balance sheet's going to explode, but the reality is I think he won't have to buy any corporate debt because now all corporate debt is going to be priced, yield at zero and priced at 100, and he actually won't have to buy anything. Just the threat of him buying um, keeps the ship afloat. We'll have to see how this... How this rolls out over time, a lot of things feel uh, weird about it, um, but things that feel weird um, doesn't really matter in trading, right? We just trade price, uh, and let's look. Equities, 200 uh, handles now from the lows. Not quite 200, 180 handles. Um, from 24 hours ago. It's pretty good. 6%. Um, well, 5 and change percent. That is pretty good. Should be resistance at 3180. Another, another 80 handles. Um, but for now, we just guns down. Don't understand um, the jubilation here. The revenue side of these companies is still going to be impaired. There's still going to be massive unemployment. But on the positive side, debt servicing costs are not going to go up. Certainly, uh, in the short term, they are not going to go up. Interestingly, um, bonds didn't really like that. Maybe there's a worry that there's going to be a massive, you know, if you're a corporation now, you issue as much debt as you possibly can. I mean, this is the playbook. If you're a medium-sized corporation with break-even business or even at a, running at a, at a loss, you just issue paper, billions and billions and billions of paper, and collect, you know, collect the dollars and use those dollars to stem the tide during the pandemic. Very weird, all this. Um, and I'm really not sure what to make of it. And so when you're really not sure what to make of it, you need to give it some more thought. That's what you do. Uh, Euro is now smack in the middle of the recent range. Cable back up through the 200-day. Uh, MPC coming on Thursday. Surely that's going to be very, very dovish. Uh, dollar Swiss again, middle of nowhere. I thought dollar yen might get smashed yesterday uh, at the close. Um, but I thought it was going to be risk off. I thought once the knee jerk higher uh, came on, people would start questioning. Um, sort of systemically the American system uh, but they didn't and here we are we're 17 points higher so no drama but here we are euro yen back to the middle dollars are not much to do euro swiss we had the signal yesterday I don't know it was sort of like weirdly bid all day no idea why now it kind of makes you wonder. Uh, I don't know if people knew or the market knew or weird, weird that equities were down close to, I don't know, 80 handles at the open yesterday and Euro Swiss was higher. And it was like, huh, that's weird. When I'm really switched on, I'll see that Euro Swiss and I will be like, wait a minute. 
of all the insiders, if the greatest insider market in the world, you know, the Swiss, um, are probably the greatest insiders. You can't imagine um, the information that they get, or you probably could imagine, um, just from watching transactions within their own banks, uh, watching people who transact in their banks. Uh, we could write a book on this. Uh, but when you see Euro Swiss doing something very, very weird, uh, take note in the future. Botched it yesterday, so no reason, to, no point to uh, take note. The botch is over. Now we just move on. Aussie, 6980. This is a break trade now. 70, 60. I mean, <laughs> ridiculous, but that's a break trade. Um, 100 points away, not for today, but something to keep in mind. Euro Aussie, nothing to do there. Imagine Aussie yen. It goes on and on and on. Everything is sort of back into the range. Um, gold should should go higher here. Although the balance sheet's probably not going to grow. So we got to watch news from the Fed to see exactly where the balance sheet is. Um, but gold has been tricky. Yesterday there was gold selling on just liquidation of portfolios business. Uh, now there's gold buying on QE business. 1776 is the number we're watching. It's going to have to be relatively hysterical for that to happen, so don't know. Dollar CNH not doing much. Dollar Max back down to 22. Uh, like the Aussie level we just pointed out, 2150 is also a very important level for Dollar Max. If this turns into a US dollar route, which this very well could end up turning into um, dollar max is going to cruise down through that so as you can see uh, we're in lick wounds mode here um, just a stunning uh, stunningly wrong analysis yesterday uh, we got caught on what looked like a very very bearish open and then we were slow um, to change our mind it's no drama. It's not the end of the world. Obviously, stops are in place. P&L is controlled. Um, but it's just startling uh, to be punched in the face like that so hard. It's like when you're in a boxing match against a little wiry fucker. And he hits you clean. And you're startled by the power. You're like, holy shit, I thought he was a little wiry fucker. Bang. Uh... And it takes you a moment to uh, recalibrate, and it's best to just step back, and that's what we're doing. So the books are square. We're just watching for now. Dollar EM, left-hand side, is probably going to be in play with all of this. Um, interest rates in the U.S. are under the thumb by our buddy JP, J. Powell. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Uh, we'll be quiet today and watching. See what comes up. Good luck out there. See you tomorrow.